What is going on guys, Bisectatron here, bringing you today's video, and I am talking about the one key to three-starring at Town Hall 13. I've watched a ton of Town Hall 13 attacks, looked at what's worked, what hasn't, and there's one pattern that you tend to see with these attacks they are successful at Town Hall 13. So I'm gonna be talking about that in today's video and also how you can defend against it knowing what is working right now. So we have a bunch of Town Hall 13 replays to take a look at, but the key guys getting right into the topic is it's all about the Town Hall. And that's something I've noticed right away as I watched the, all the triples from this war. This is an all Town Hall 13 war, 10v10. Um, most of the attacks are made possible by how they deal with the town hall, specifically being able to queen charge the town hall and take it out with the queen before you start any other part of the attack. That is what you're gonna see happen in almost all of these attacks. Now there are exceptions, it's not always possible. We'll talk about how that will fit into this framework, but by and large, that is what's working right now at Town Hall 13, and that is how, what you wanna think about when you're building your base. Let me give you some stats before we talk about anything else as we look at this uh, first attack. This was my own attack in this war, uh, a Lalo attack, getting both scatters, both the queen and the royal champion and the town hall. Those are all the most deadly defenses uh, for Lalo at town hall 13. And uh, even though my Lalo is pretty bad, as you can see, the, the pathing is going to not be great through through the base here and my deployment's not good i'm still able to three star because this you know i got so much value with the queen charge but like i said let me rattle off a few stats to put this in perspective guys the town hall has 8200 hit points when maxed out at town hall 13. the eagle which we think of as a high hp building um for sure has only 5200 so only about two thirds roughly of the town hall's hit points. Infernos and scatters are only around 33, 3500. Um, that's well below half the hit points of the town hall. So this is a very high hit point building. And if you have troops that are stuck on it, it'll take a long time to take out. So I wanna make that point. Also the damage has four targets when maxed out and it does 300 DPS per target. To put that in perspective guys, a regular multi-inferno only does 93, so it does more than three times the damage of an inferno tower on multi. Um, that's in an incredible amount of damage. That is far beyond the damage an expo does at 175, so it's doing just uh, a bit less than double an expo's damage to four different targets. Not to mention the uh, explosion, once you take it out, is enough to almost kill hogs and, and miners, get them very low, um, almost kill balloons as well, to the point where you have to use the warden's ability. Typically, especially if you have bowlers, if it's a spam attack, you really have to use the warden's ability over the town hall. It kind of forces that. Not to mention, in addition, you have the freeze effect of the town hall of slowing down troops after it is taken out. So all that packed into one building, you can see why a queen charge, which to be honest, the town hall really doesn't hurt the queen that much. I mean, it's it's you know it's like having more damage on her. But if you have a rage, or even sometimes you don't need a rage if it's the only building targeting her, which might be the case in you know a few situations. Um, but typically, just a rage to keep your queen up while the town hall and maybe a few other defenses are on her, and it goes down in just a few seconds. Uh, the queen does quite a bit of damage under rage. So when you think about that versus the alternative of balloons or hogs or miners or something like that having to take it out um, you can really see why being able to get it taken out ahead of time with a queen charge is so valuable uh, for the rest of your attack and oftentimes you can get uh, even more value taking out expos scatter shots inferno towers um, typically the eagle is not going to be close to the town hall if the base is decent um, but besides that you can get a ton of great value um, in addition to the town hall with your queen charge so as we take a look at this next attack here, queen charging in at the town hall, got a few other buildings, a scatter shot. Typically for queen charge Lala, which is working pretty well right now, also for queen charge hybrid, um, those attacks, it's good to get scatter shots taken out as well. So on the flip side, if you're a base builder, you should be thinking, how can you protect your town hall from a queen charge and also keep those scatter shots away from the town hall because 
the town hall and the scatter shots are two of the biggest uh, things that will stop hybrid and that will stop Lalo. Um, or really almost any attack in general, but those especially. Uh, so this one wraps up here. The Royal Champion just kind of marches on through along with all the hogs and miners. We'll fast forward to the end here. We have uh, quite a few to take a look at today. Moving on to number nine here. And we will we'll talk about you know attacking bases where the town hall isn't so easy to queen charge. This is why I think the quote unquote anti two star base, which I don't even think is a fair name for it anymore. I would call it more of the uh, town hall central base, uh, which is kind of a symmetrical base, typically maybe a ring base. All those are uh, common ways to describe it. I think you know what I'm talking about. More of a traditional uh, anti two star base is actually t tends to be harder to three star because the town hall cannot be queen charged. And I think that is a big part of it. So you can see this next attack coming at the single inferno and especially with the you know super wall breakers, um, the, the free spell, which has always been there, but um, it's an effective tool for freezing the single inferno. I think because um, attackers have a lot of tools when doing the queen charge, they're able to go at these single infernos, um, the scatter shots. You wouldn't think that'd be a, a pretty easy queen charge if you're building the base, but when you look at it actually happen to you, um, you know, it wasn't even close. The queen snags the town hall, the single inferno, even with a scatter shot and an expo on her, takes out the CC. I mean, the level 70 queen is no joke. So you really gotta be thinking about how can your base be queen charged as you're building it, as you're placing the town hall, and also where you're putting your scatter shots, especially. And of course, um, this should go without saying, even without watching this video, uh, put the eagle far from your town hall in almost every base situation. So anyway, um, the hybrid was used to pair up with this one. We'll go times two for the sake of time here. Um, the queen's gonna stay up for the entire attack, I believe, and uh, get some good value kind of coming in behind the, uh, the hybrid. Um, so we will take a look at a couple of the opponent clan's attacks as well. There was a lot of triples from this war, and I think one of the reasons that um, I mean, we had we had quite a few triples on our side as well, but one of the reasons I think they just uh, beat us here was because they had more of those anti two star type bases, which tended to be a little more effective um, in terms of uh, defending against uh, our attacks. And you can see that because all the attacks I'm showing are on anti three star bases, because those were the bases that we were three starring. Um, so it's it's funny how that works out. We will flip over and take a look at these two. I want to show a spam type attack, or I guess a smash attack. This is a Yeti smash uh, with bowlers, and coming at the town hall is also important on this type of attack. Um, I, my main point for this video was showing a hybrid, showing some Lalo, and the importance of taking out the town hall because it's so devastating to balloons, to hybrid. You know, you're forcing the queen's or you're, sorry, you're forcing the warden's ability. You're having to take out a very high hit point building that does quite a bit of damage and has a freeze effect that does uh, a little bit of you know it has a bit of an effect on troops afterwards. So getting that taken out with the queen is doing so much uh, to help those attacks. But also for an attack like this, the reason you want to get it down so early is because your troops will will spread out. They won't have you know, the benefit of a rage spell perhaps on the back end of the base. So you don't want to leave the town hall up because if you just have bowlers and a couple yetis wandering around, if it's not a very concentrated high power force just smashing through the base, the town hall is going to wreck whatever's still up. So let's take a look at this one. A great warden walk um, by the attacker for their team, Whitebeard, coming in here with I think a double layer super wall breaker to then just a single jump in into the uh, being able to reach the eagle there, siege barracks out the funnel, and then add some hogs to the mix as well. Um, part of the reason why the uh, entry for this type of attack at the town hall is so favorable is because if you're going to encounter the CC, if you're going to encounter the freeze effect of the town hall, all that's going to slow down your troops, and you want them slowed when they're very tight and close together, because that way the healers are still healing them. If this is happening towards the back end um, and you don't have the benefit of the healers, uh, defense like the town hall is going to really wreak some havoc um, because a lot of those troops, especially like bowlers, are way too flimsy to withstand the town hall without any healers on them. 
So anyway, um, War, uh, Royal Champion comes in back end to wrap up the base here. A bunch of Yetis kind of took an early exit there, but uh, plenty of troops to finish off the base. We will fast forward and take a look at just one more attack that's going to kind of break the mold a little bit here. And you'll see what I mean in just a second, and we'll talk about it. Um, this is number six. So this attack is going to come opposite the town hall. And sometimes if the base is built well, it's going to be difficult to either queen charge the town hall and then make a Lalo or a uh, hybrid out of it. I mean, you can see on this base, Infernos are far from the town hall, Eagle is far, Scattershot is far, and all defensive heroes are far. That's typically a good thing. Um, unless you're really packing a bunch of damage over by the town hall, uh, you typically want to just kind of use walls, use difficult pathing, um, use air defenses, use those, I guess, non-DPS type um, things that are going to make it hard to queen charge your town hall if that's the route you're going with an anti-three-star base. Um, if you try to, you know, put a single Inferno, you've seen how it can be queen charged and just allow the attacker to get even more value. Same with the scatter shot. So be careful trying to pack extra damage to prevent the town hall from being queen charged. It might just uh, work in the opposite benefit of you. So anyway, uh, everything's moving through here. This is very far from the town hall, but it's a great funnel. Um, the jump spell is going to lead them right towards the town hall on the back end there. And you can see rage spell um, right here. The CC comes out. Things are going to slow down a little bit. Um, but it is a very close call, I'd say, in the town hall. The hogs are coming through. They're not going to be able to do much to the town hall there as it lights up and just basically melts them. The key here was having the warden's ability saved, which is something that you don't always have the, the luxury of doing is saving the warden's ability, um, but does it there. Then also the freeze on the town hall because the warden's ability wears off a few seconds before. might have been a little bit dicey otherwise, but freezes the town hall. It doesn't do any damage to those wizards and bowlers that end up taking it out. And um, that was all that was left up. But had the town hall still been up, probably would have three-starred just because all the heroes are still alive. The queen still has her ability. Um, but that could easily be a situation where an otherwise an attack that should crush the base is not able to finish it off just because the town hall lingers up and just takes out troops all over the place because they're not in a you know organized push at the initial start. So that'll do it for this video. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And thanks for watching. Like I said, guys, the town hall is so important. Look to queen charge it. Look to smash it early if you're an attacker. If you're a defender, you really got to defend it well. Put it in the middle of your base or put it somewhere where there's not going to be a lot of value in addition to taking it down. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoy my content, consider supporting the channel by entering my creator boost code bisect in the settings tab of your game, and keep in mind it occasionally resets and must be re-entered. Click or tap for another video and be sure to subscribe. See you all next time, Bisectatron out.